the the guests that you see that kind of become more of a uh a, you know you can see their eyes getting bigger <laughs> oh just the pupils dilating we were talking yeah. about the other day yeah you know what i mean like you can you can see you, you it's like fucking back in vietnam and you can see that the fucking dirt is like just recently dug up and you're like oh man this is about to get this is about to become fucking weird man this is gonna be that fucking like this is gonna be that landmine you know what i mean i'm gonna uh-huh. have to like so like I know my own personal. But this is wh- speaking from a person in a relationship. Right? Yeah, one hundred percent. And like, and, and so the the way we'll that I, out. yeah yeah <laughs> not, not a relationship. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, not you. I don't, you're I don't like, deal with landmines. Yeah, all you guys. Just, just, just like I yeah. all over that. <laughs> I take grenades shit. all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, so like, so for myself, like how like I have a personal way, like I like to get in front of those situations. You know what I mean? Because like I know my personality. You know what I mean? I'm very like kind of wide open you know what i mean like mm-hmm. i'm very like inviting you know I'm fucking happy you know I'm, I'm but it's like honest though it's not like i'm i do it to everybody i don't just do it to like specific people you know what i mean um and i that i know that because i'm not naive that it can be taken in a different light sometimes depending on what the other side is trying to like you know come for so i always like to like lead with because i don't have the ring you know what i mean i always like to lead with i find a story and then i like insert like the whole like, oh, yeah, my girlfriend does that. This is another blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh-huh. Just like, just to put it out there, like, a cool, just, like, we'll be oh, cool. Oh, subtle. Yeah, drop it subtly. Yeah, just yeah. Just boom. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, we're cool. Just yeah. one of the, like, this is where I'm at. Absolutely. Like, don't, let's yeah. not be fucking, you know, because, like, and then sometimes, it, like, in bold times, very, 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 very bold times, there'll be a moment where the person's like, so, you know, do like, give me your number? And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm not. Like I'm just, like I'm so sorry. You know what I mean? Smart or like, man. or it's like, hey, look, I got this for you, and then they slide the fucking number over. You know? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, cool, thanks. You know what I mean? Grab it up real quick. You know what I mean? They go to walk away, drop it right in the trash. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, what the fuck do you want me to do with that? You know what I mean? Like, you already know where I'm standing. You know what I mean? Like, no. You know? So, Steve, <clears throat> my question to you is, how do you dodge your line mines? <laughs> Ooh. Well, kind of like what you were saying is, it, I treat everyone the same. You right. know, I'm a very flirtatious, outgoing person. I treat the same the guys the same as I treat women. Right. You know what I mean? Like everyone's just the same. I just want you to have a good time. You're at my bar, setting the tone. But like you said, you know, a lot of girls misconstrued that for straight up flirting with them. But mm-hmm. it's like, no, I just talk to your friend Sally the same fucking mm-hmm. way. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, what I do every single time a girl cashes out is I slide the receipt over with my ring hand. Every time. Sick. Oh. Every <laughs> single like fucking time. Yeah. And and the reason being is kind of like, hey, we had a good time. I got you laughing, smiling, but uh, this is where it ends. Yeah, but you what happens if you don't have the ring? <clears throat> well, I always wear my ring. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that bitch doesn't He was looking off. for the answer without the ring. But, I mean, I have, my, but, I have my own answer. But the funny <laughs> thing is, man, like I was saying, you know, I get hit on more as a married man. Right. I remember I was at the shack. I was bartending with you, Evan, yep. Kevin, mm-hmm. and I, I did the whole move again. You know, like, here's your, here's your tab, miss. Thank you so much. You know, have a great night. And she literally writes on there her number, her friend's number, underlines it, and on the side writes, we don't care. Wow. <laughs> yep. That is and it's so like, bold. Are you fucking yeah. kidding what? me? <laughs> so, <laughs> no shame in the game. <laughs> like just, and uh, I know you're married, but still, right. we don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'm just giving you a call later. Obviously, just like you, oh, input the tip. Toss it in the chest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We used to when I when I used to work at a, at a nightclub back when I was twenty two when I was working at Time. Uh, rest in peace, Tom Lounge. But when I used to work at Time, we used Never to have forget. a fucking we had a fucking bucket like a little small bucket that like girls, guys, no matter who, whatever staff, you know what I'm saying? Because like to be honest, like as bartenders, like when you like if you give a bartender your number, they're probably not gonna take it. You know what I mean? I don't ever think I've seen like a number be like, oh, okay, cool. Let me go. I mean, if, if some Hayek left her number, I, 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 yeah, I mean, yeah, that yeah, might yeah, be. I think. I mean, <laughs> so if you're if you're bartending at fucking Applebee's, like maybe that might be a thing. But like, we're talking. I'm talking like nightclub. You know what I mean? Like, if right. you go to a nightclub, like the nightclub bartenders, like we're just there to fucking work. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, if we see you outside, like you want to say hi, like fuck it, let's say hi. But other than that, like I don't give a shit. Like it's fucking you're grinding. It's, it's a high volume bar. It's right. Tough. You, you know. Yeah. So we used to take the fucking <clears throat> we used to, we used to take them and put them in a fishbowl. You know what I mean? And then, we, and then when we got finished, like, drinking, we'd, like, 
<laughs> all like text a person. Angie, remember me? <laughs> I'm a bartender. <laughs> yeah, but again, I guess that's different from Virginia to New York because yeah. I've gotten countless numbers left on receipts and. I've not. I wouldn't say like less than fifty percent. I've actually messaged back, but I do message back some. Oh yeah, and they turn out to be you know cool. Oh, a one night stand, or you know, t- turns out to be a friend. After yeah. you know, we cut yeah. the sexual tension. It's like all right, cool. Now we can just be friends. <laughs> you know, that's cool. It's a different mentality up there. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think it's I like. <laughs> yeah, but again, but again uh, back to that point is like it's a it's a little bit different. It's we're a little bit more you know not as progressive as New York. We're over right. Virginia. True, you know what I mean, true. It's but like a it's different, like different culture, one hundred percent. I yeah. can see how sex complicates a lot of things, especially in slower culture. It's yeah. th- it does complicate things in New York. Don't get me wrong, but there it can happen. It's a fast paced town. It just and then you can keep, move on with your lives. Like you can still be friends right. if, the, if you don't continue that type of relationship. Right. So I, I mean, from what I'm hearing, though, I feel like New York is a little more professional in sleeping around. Like they're mm-hmm. they're a little more you know adults heard, about it. They're yeah. more mature. I feel like I mean, especially bartending out here. You know, we're a big military town. Yeah, uh, everybody smallest, knows everybody. You know, r- smallest respect town military. Ever. 100%. Everybody knows everybody. But, town ever. but I mean, yeah. how many times? That's a big thing. I have, and I've only been here for three years, but prior, Evan, maybe we're like, you see a guy that you know is married, yeah, and he comes in with another date, and right. you have to act like you don't know who he is. Or vice like, versa. Oh, or yeah, vice of course. Versa. First, vice versa. I've seen, dude, I've seen both sides. You oh, know yeah, what yeah. Mean? yeah. Where it's like, yeah, women and, you know, yeah, yeah the woman's got, totally. woman's got a boyfriend and a husband, you know what I'm saying? Or vice versa, you know what I mean? Where you're like, and like you do that game where you're like, hey, what's up, guys? You ever been here before? Right, <laughs> you know and, then, and then they yeah. look at you with so much pride because they're just like, "Oh, thank you for reading the situation." Because I mean, like the main thing is like it's not one; it's not my situation. Right, you know what I mean. So like, I don't know what's going on in your personal life. So like, I'm not going to be the person to fucking try to blow fire. You know what I mean, or sound the alarm or whatever the fuck it may be. It's not my fucking problem. No. You know what I mean. Right. To be honest, right, right. right. <clears throat> you got a business to run. You've got a job to do. That's just it. Yeah. I'm just there for. I'm there for You're the instant money. moment transaction. You know what I'm saying? Like that's where I end, and I feel like that's where a lot of people have a lot of trust with the bartenders you know what i mean because they'll can just talk and, and to be honest like i don't i like to keep myself out of people's shit you know which oh, i know 100%. is like it's completely different with like other pe- like i know with the restaurant industry there are um it's like a stigma for being like high school you know <clears throat> where oh, everyone yeah. knows everyone's like information you know what i mean well again back to back to john's point is that the the size of this the size of the city comparatively to right. New York. I mean, you got eight million people there. You got four hundred thousand people in Virginia Beach. Right. It's such a small area, and the, I think we talked about in the the past episodes is where it's such a you know a large city, but it seems like it it's such a small community, and people everybody does know everybody. So yeah, because you guys all go would, to the same bars. You guys same, are we're as humans creatures of habits. So right. We're gonna go to the same bars. We like the experience that we had at these bars. We like the bartender, so we're gonna go back and back to the same bars. So people will just find that story, and then it'll it spreads like you know, like wildfire, like mm-hmm. in a day, in a day, like everybody knows something that happened with so and so and so and so. How'd so. you hear so and so's? Oh my god! Did you I hear about Tom? Like that guy. Oh my god! Oh my yeah, god! Right, exactly. I heard. Oh my god! I heard. But yeah, that's the thing. It's like uh, in New York, uh, all the bartenders. It's like anybody in hospitality, honestly, like liquor reps, bartenders. We all kind of know each other. We can like play the Kevin Bacon game and like. Through three different people, we have a connection. Right, right. So that's a good thing about the culture up there. But then it's also the city's big enough where if you want to avoid somebody, you can avoid somebody. Right. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. You don't like just don't go to that neighborhood. You're never going to see that person again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like there's a lot of that in New York. Like, oh damn, we really had a connection, but I forgot to get her number, and you will never see her again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> gone. Yeah. Gone forever. Whereas, like here, I, I've never even been to Portsmouth, but I can fucking go out there and bump into nine people that yeah, I know. Hey, what are you doing here? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's just how it is. You know. I didn't know you came to Portsmouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so uh, I was gonna say on on the other side. So we were talking about um, you know apps uh earlier like tinder apps stuff like that um i think a great thing now is uh i was looking into this earlier was uh you have apps that create the connection do you know what i mean yeah. so so now i mean people are still drinking i was looking at like a zeus a zeus which is not the greatest uh statistic but they they were saying that 75 percent of the people that are on there are drinkers do you know what i mean so they yeah. they will meet first and then come drink do you know what i mean so there was something that i always hated as a bartender was hey man Go go buy that girl a drink, dude. Tell it, you know, tell it no, it's on this fuck. guy. You know what I mean? Or like, <laughs> hey, tell that girl like 
you know, something that I said. You know, I, like I don't. I'm not your fucking proxy, man. Like right. I'm not your dating, you right. know, setup. Basically. Oh, oh, and learning moment for for Chad buying the drink for the fucking girl across the bar. Yeah, Chad. Man. Never assume she's drinking whatever the fuck you want to buy her. Right. Exactly. Ask the bartender what she's drinking, Nobody... and then order that shit for her. Can I go? Can okay. I go? Can I go a step further? <laughs> can I go a step further? And then, so if Chad. If, <laughs> if she, you know, if oh, she, Chad, Chad Lee. <laughs> and then I guess it can, this can go for both guys and girls, but it yeah, happens for more sure. for yeah. girls than it does yeah. for guys. Now, if you go to buy a drink for somebody, right? One, I think that you should probably take it over to that person. Like yeah. grab, yeah. grab your fucking nuts and fucking do it. You know what I mean? Cause you're going to end up in the conversation at, like in the first place and we're going to end up in the conversation period. The second fucking thing is what Steve just got finished saying. If the fucking girl is drinking fucking wine or fucking champagne or tequila or whatever the fuck it is, like don't be that fucking guy. It's like yeah, give me your fucking Jaeger bomb. Like she doesn't, she's not gonna like no, no, no. you know what I mean? Like it's right. it's aggressive and it's it's unnecessary. Right. The last thing I'll fucking say is that if so people come and go, right? People have responsibilities. Some people, you know, they they'll Uber. Some people, you know, they'll have a, a, a drink or a cocktail and then they'll be able to go home. They have they have things that fucking do. So like if. If you go to buy someone a fucking drink, you know what I mean? Whether it be a guy or girl, and they like respectfully decline, don't take it offensively. You know what I mean? Like respect that they've yeah. got something else going on. Right. Because that's happened like plenty of times. And as a bartender, when I see it, when that situation, it makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. So I'll immediately jump 100%. in and go, yeah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like if I, this happened to me like a couple weeks ago where there was a guy, he's like, hey, I want to buy those girls their, their next drinks, you know? Now, I what I do is I walk over. Yeah, sure. I go, ladies. I go, you know, there's a guy around the bar that wants to buy you your next drinks. Would you like another round? You know, perfect. Right. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly right. how you handle that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they're like, and 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 these girls were like, no, like we're good. Like we're getting ready to head out. And I'm like, okay, cool, respect. So I go back over to the dude and go, hey, look, they don't want another round. I said, but if you want, you can take this pass round that they just ordered off of their tab you can pay for that he's like no man like get him another round and i'm like yeah you don't, you don't get it yeah no yeah you don't this get is it. And this is where and this is where we step in you know right. this is where i step in right and i go hey man not cool you know what i'm saying like you can either buy their round or we can just stop this conversation you know what i'm saying right because like now it's getting to a point where it's like really kind of awkward and it's aggressive and I don't think anybody likes to be have anything forced upon them. And, right. You know yeah, and, and like, Absolutely you know, not. all part of our whole political culture that we're at right now. No means no. That's it. That's it. It's like, I'm good. Thank you, though. Yeah. Let's move on. With all life. due respect. I am OK. And right. honestly, like yeah. nine times out of ten, buying a girl a drink doesn't result in the result that you're looking for. Yeah. Like, like, it could be even a yeah. Yeah. I mean, bye. Like harder. <laughs> right. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. But, but that could be going back <laughs> yeah. to what we just talked about where you're not doing the proper things. Like, you, like, no. She's drinking a dirty martini and you get her. You know exactly a, a Jaeger bomb. What the fuck? And then, Chad? and then you're just standing there in the corner, looking this like a creepy, creepy asshole, like I mean, fingering I, your belly button, just I'll like yeah, honest, take that you, shit. Not only that, but and I you're like, like, no, you <laughs> might be better off. You might be better off just buying a, a whole group of uh, uh, appetizers or something. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like you guys yeah, some game got you. Yeah, this <laughs> shit is some good. Weeds. Just try it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, like I'm not calling you fat. I'm just saying, like you know, this is this is incredible. And I'll tell you. The food resonates much harder than fucking alcohol does. Like the old philosophy I mean, is like, let me let me get this girl wasted and then see what happens. And that's that's an old, very yeah, no. terrible philosophy. It's but, horrible. But the thing is that we move into it. We're moving into a much different, you know, you know, approach and a, a better approach where it's like I'm trying to win this person over, you know, with their mind and their and heart. Trust, you know right? what I mean? Yeah. And trust. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's a better move. I mean, it, it doesn't happen often. I, I, you know. And it should happen more. It should no, this more. is like yeah. this is what I've experienced. Cause like you know, I had a sister. I had a lot of. Like, young, 21, 22, I started going out, started partying. A lot of my friends were girls. I saw how they operated. I used to drink for free because I would send one of my girls out oh, yeah. to a bar. She would go right. talk to a guy for two seconds, get him to buy her a drink, come back, let me hold it for her, and then go off and convince another guy to buy her a drink. And here I am, Hanging drinking out. off some other dude's tab because he's an right. idiot, yep. and I'm drinking for free the rest of the night, and I didn't mind that she was doing that, but that's how I knew never to buy a girl that I don't know. A drink. It has no meaning. It has zero value. It's like, it's like just because I buy you a drink doesn't mean I expect, like, all of a sudden I expect you to talk to me. Right. Because I buy you a drink. Like, no. There's, so, it's that assumption. It's like, oh, I bought you something, so I expect something in return. Like, I own you now. It's like, yeah. no. no. Sorry. She didn't ask <laughs> you to buy her shit. Like, move on. Yep. Exactly. Yep. And not to mess up those girls out there. We're not trying to mess your game up, your free <laughs> drinking game. 
I mean, by if, any yeah. means, by any means. But reciprocation is great. You know, I mean, if you want to buy us some drinks, that's, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I think Chris uh, touched on it very well. I was going to touch on that. It's like, like when a guy's buying around a girl, like around for the girls, right. check in with them.